Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Man 16 pack opening. This is gonna be a fun pack opening. It's gonna be um, a stressful pack opening for me because right now we're trying to do that night train lane set. We have a ton of blitz packs to open, but by the time we finish all these blitz packs, we're on pace to end up with 194 tickets. As you guys saw, night train lane set is 200 blitz tickets. So what that means is we're gonna be six blitz tickets short, but that does not account for the fact that well, we got the new team of the week, Spencer Ware. He's pretty slow, but he's got good trucking. There's a lot of better running backs in. Don't worry about him. So, um, did we only get, oh, we got three blitz tickets. So, um, sometimes blitz packs contain, um, four blitz tickets instead of three. We need that, to, we need that to happen six times. As you guys see, I'm all hyped up right now. We need that to happen six times in our pack opening for us to get 200 blitz tickets and have enough to do the night train lane set. Now, if anything, the last resort is that, um, we could buy silver um, leaves and turn them into blitz tickets because two silver leaves equals three blitz tickets. But those cost like 25,000 coins a piece. Not exactly what I'm trying to do. I'd like to do this, you know, without paying all those extra coins. So right now, um, we got none of them. We opened up three packs and we didn't get a fourth blitz ticket in either one. Like I said, we need it to happen six times. We're going to be opening up 47 blitz packs. So six out of 47. Um, maybe we can get one in this pack, man. That would be very, very nice, but it didn't happen. Also, the other streak that's going on right now that we need to, or not a streak, just something we got to be aware of is we have never pulled, oh, never mind. That, that's that. I was going to say we never pulled an elite player in a blitz ticket, um, pack, but, um, that was it right there. We pulled Tom Baha Ali. He's kind of a crap one, but, um, he isn't really can't really complain about that. Last time I was begging for Antonio Gates. Tom Bahali is like a cheap one too, but I mean just to know you can pull a blitz ticket in a or a, a elite player in a blitz ticket pack. That is pretty nice. All right, I mean I could have sworn you got a fourth, but I guess it was more you know you could pull the blitz ticket the fourth one more often during the weekend because I opened my pack on Saturday as we get a TJ Ward. TJ Ward's actually injured. I think he's out for next week's game. He and I think Sylvester Stallone when we getting Aaron Donald. That looked like a legend pull right there. That blue. I was like, oh the, what the heck did we pull? But it's just uh, Aaron Donald. Not that bad of a pull right there. We got Brian Hoyer who is now on the um. Texans. I don't know who's starting for the Texans right now, to be honest. I think it's TJ Yeldon. Yet, they're still, like, in contention to make the playoffs. That's crazy, man. Like, you never know who their starting quarterback is, but they, they have a good shot making the playoffs. Now, we are definitely, like, at the rate we're going out, we definitely have to buy some silver um, leaves. I, I, think, I think I've accepted that, but maybe we can only do that set once instead of twice, but... I don't know, we're not really, we haven't even gotten that Ford Blitz ticket once, you know? So the other big thing that's out right now is, um, that has nothing to do with this promo is there is a new, there's new team of the week cards as there are every Monday, and there's a limited edition, 93 overall, Luke Keekly out there. Now you guys know I'm a big fan of Luke Keekly's cards in Mutt, you know, that was, that was like the first limited edition card I ever pulled in Mutt. I pulled that 97 overall Keekly. It was a football outsider card. It came out in Mutt 25, like around December. I got super damn lucky. Oh, let's keep it real. I mean, anytime you pull those cards to get lucky, but like, I barely played Mutt and I pulled that card. And um, ever since then, Keekly's been my boy in Mutt. He's one of the best run stuffing middle linebackers. So I absolutely love that about him. I don't play the best run defense. So, you know, it's very good to have someone on my team that can, you know, automatically stuff the run without me really doing anything. Uh, it looks like this might be our last pack we open up before I go um, reset my binder a little bit, throw some stuff into sets and all that good stuff. And so far, we haven't gotten that Fort Blitz ticket once. I think we opened up, let's see how many packs we've opened up. We opened up 18 packs, haven't gotten that Fort Blitz ticket once. And I sound like I'm lying, but I swear you can pull a Fort Blitz ticket in a Blitz pack. But I'll catch you guys right back in a sec. Alright, so, you know, you guys might have only seen like one second pass since... We're opening up all these packs again, but what actually happened is I spent half an hour cleaning out my binder and I caved in and bought some silver tickets because or silver leaves because what I realized, oh, we got Ryan Kerrigan. This is pretty dope pull. I think this is the best team of the week card in the um, new collection for Russell Wilson. So that's actually a really good pull right there. Kerrigan, unfortunately, went off. Kerrigan always plays good against the Giants and he did it against um, yesterday. So he kind of... Um, killed the Giants. That was not really too much fun to watch. But we'll just move on to another subject about how I bought Silver Leafs. But, um, yeah, I realize we're probably not getting four Blitz tickets in any of these, um, Blitz packs coming up. So, I just caved in and bought, you know, the much I needed to do exactly 200 Blitz, or 200 Blitz tickets, yeah, to end up doing the Night Train Lane set. So, that's what we're doing right now. We're just opening the rest of these Blitz packs to maybe pull a little key queen. I'm gonna have to clean up my binder one more time, so you guys will be seeing one more edit as we pull Eric Berry. Never a bad thing to pull Eric Berry, right? But, um, I ended up doing that set, like, right away. As you guys see, we get a CJ Mosley. That's a pretty chill pull right there. That's about, like, what, 6,000 coins? I don't know exactly how much that is, but, um, 
Yeah, I didn't have to buy the Silver Luigi right away. I could have waited until after I did this pack opening, but um, you guys can't see this. But I'm doing this opening at like 12.03 o'clock in the morning, all right? So basically what that means is that set can expire any minute from now. At least in these Blitz packs, we're pulling a couple Elites. That's a good sign. We pulled the Karagium, which I'm not sure exactly how much he's going for. He might be going for like 40000 right now on a rough estimate. I don't know how much that Russell Wilson is going for exactly, but usually the Team of the Week collectible is the most expensive thing when you're trying to do a Team of the Week set. So, um... I mean, those Team of the Week players usually go for, like, one, once the week dies down, like, 30,000 coins, we got a Tyron Smith. I mean, these are some chill Elite pulls. I could definitely take these Elite pulls we're getting. We're getting a ton of Crockett Gilmore. I can make, like, 20 Crockett Gilmores and just, like, put Crockett Gilmore wide receiver 1 through 6. Crockett Gilmore tight end 1 through 3. Put him as my long snapper. I could have... Literally 10 Crockett Gilmores on the field if I really... And a Crockett Gilmore tight end. I could just dominate the field with Crockett Gilmores if I needed to. But we're not going to do that, obviously. I, that would be pretty funny, though. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm tempting myself that I might do that Crockett Gilmore. But what I got to do before I do any Crockett Gilmore madness is clean up my binder. So once again, I'll catch you guys in a sec. And after another 20 minutes of so much fun clearing out my binder, here we are back for what should be the final batch of Blitz tickets of my life. I'm not, I'm never opening Blitz tickets again, or Blitz bags again after this, like, this is it for me, I'm retiring from opening up Blitz, oh, actually, never mind, they open up, I think I'm up with more Blitz packs and Blitz sets, this will be the only thing I do in month, because it's such a good promo, I think I just got four Blitz tickets in that pack, yes, I did, that is cool, but like I said, we're not worried about those anymore, we're, what we're worried about right now is pulling Luke Keekly. so we got these, um, Blitz packs, as you guys see here, left, and then we got the six Straggler packs that we're gonna go and attack, so, um, that's 13 packs. You count up the binder space. I think this is 12 per. Um, that's whatever the math equals to. I can't double multitask, but I'm pretty sure we're good. All right, I'm pretty sure. Did we pull four in this one? One, two, three. All right, whatever. It does not matter. Well, let's just move on. And uh, what this is allowing me to do, as you guys see, I'm magically clearing binder space. What I'm clearing up is giving me a lot of badge packs. All right, I'm throwing everything I have into badge packs, any crappy gold, any crappy silver, any crappy coach stadium playbook, um, etc. is all going into badge packs. And that means more large quick sell pack openings, man. That's all it means. I have so many of these um 10 badge packs sitting around and three badge packs and all that crap. And we're just flying through packs right now. Alfred Morris, who unfortunately did a pretty good job against my Giants. Whenever I see a Redskins player, I'm just going to be bitter as hell whenever I see him. <laughs> to be honest, because this pack, like, rest of the week, if I open packs and I see Redskins players, I'm just going to be super damn bitter because, man, we should have won that. Well, I'm not going to say we should have won that game, but like, we definitely needed to win that game to have a really, you know, solid chance at pulling away with the NFC East. Instead, here we are, flat on our asses, battling, making it interesting, trying to, you know, make our way to the Super Bowl. But um, we got a big game against the Jets next week. Um, last time we went to the Super Bowl and won it, um, that's our three blitz packs right there. Uh, we beat the Jets in what week 16, and Victor Cruz had that 99-yard touchdown pass. So maybe Odell can get if Odell gets a 99-yard touchdown pass. Just know the Giants will win the Super Bowl. Otherwise, it's the NFL. Anything can happen. You guys saw that Ravens um Browns game, the ending of that. Anything can happen. Though unfortunately nothing. Oh, we actually ended on elite for this pack opening. But that'll pretty much do it. Hope you guys leave a like on this video. If you enjoyed it, subscribe for more and I'll catch you guys next time.